Welcome back to another episode of Rachel has way too much makeup and needs to get rid of some but finds it very difficult to because she has a hard time of letting go. Today's episode is going to be uh, blush decluttering. I'm thinking that this drawer is going to be blush and then maybe some of my cheek palettes whether they be blush or contour highlight. I do have my contour and highlight in the drawer above which still needs to be decluttered and I will do that probably next but for now we're going to concentrate on blushes I have moved this down to a thicker drawer if you have the Alex set of drawers they do have a, a smaller size and a thicker size this used to be in the thinner size or the less deep size but I figure that blush needs a little bit of room to breathe and I want to put the palettes in as well so we're just going to go through to be honest I mean I have decluttered these before um, but it's gotten messy again and when I moved it down to this drawer I kind of just chucked anything that was out and about on top so that's why it's looking really bad. The first thing that I have here is this Sculpt and Glow palette which is new from um, Models Own which is only recently in sort of the last six months launched in Australia. I actually quite like this formula so I will keep this for now. The next thing I have here is actually in the box. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit, the Surreal Light one. I bought this the Christmas before last, so the 2016 Christmas. Uh, and to be honest, I have barely used it. Let me show you just so you can see. Oh, of course I opened it up at the wrong end. Anyway, it's the one in the marble packaging. I've barely touched it, so I thought that I might try and sell it because I'm just not getting the use out of it. Oh my gosh, this is just turning into a terrible. There you are. You guys know what I'm talking about this one. So yeah, I thought I would kind of clean it up a bit and maybe try and sell it because I'm not getting any use out of it. And it is a beautiful palette and it needs to be shown some love. Next we have a Carez blush here. It's a beautiful color. The problem with blushes is, is that, I mean, they're all beautiful and you just, I don't know, like I could, I could keep them all, but I'm never going to use them. So I'm going to put this side, this one into the maybe pile. This one, the Essence Breaking Dawn, it's a red blush, which I think is quite unique and I think that's why I've kept it in the past, but I just, I don't touch it, so that's going to go in the giveaway pile. The next I have this Estee Lauder Michael Kors blush. This I'm in two minds about because it is like a Michael Kors collaboration, but I also never touch it. Mm, okay, maybe. This is a Kat Von D one, which I thought I'd lost, but it turns out it was just at the very back of the drawer and I found it when I moved all this stuff down here. I actually quite like this little duo, so I am going to keep that. Too Faced Sweet, uh, Sweet Peach Glow Palette, really do like this, think it's very pretty. It's actually quite similar to this model zone one, so I mean, if you didn't want to splurge on the Sweet Peach, the colors are in a different order, but very, very similar. So there's some options there for you guys, but I will keep both because I'm extra like that. I have been really into the cream blushes of late but this one is from Josie Moran and I just don't find myself using it. It's a very pretty berry color but I think I'm going to put that in the to giveaway pile. We have Benefits Benetint which again to be honest I really don't use that often but in saying that I kind of feel like I need to hold on to it because it's such a classic product. So I think for now I will however I can see the some minis here oh yeah there we are the lolly tint and the posy tint I honestly I never reach for these so I'm gonna be ruthless and give those away I have a couple of the oh my goodness I'm dropping things left right and center Maybelline master glaze I am tempted to keep these for a little while and just see if I use them a bit more so I will put them in the to keep pile for now I use this one a lot. This is the Baby Doll Kiss and Blush from YSL in the shade number eight. Love this, absolutely beautiful. Uh, so I'm gonna keep that one. My favorite go-to blush of the moment is actually from Luma and this is a highlight stick, but it's called Blushed Nomad. And as you can see, it's a definite blush kind of color. So I'm keeping that because like I said, I use that a lot at the moment. The Hourglass, this is the first ambient lighting blush palette I really do like this I think it's beautiful so I will keep that however I do have one of the blushes here mood exposure which is in this one as well and I have it as a whole blush and I love this color like it's it's honestly one of my favorites but it's really no use me having this and this so I think what I'm going to do is give this 
away. I suppose I could potentially sell it, but um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, very, very nice blush, but I really don't need two. Models prefers the cream blush stick, but honestly, I'm just, I'm never going to use that color. So I'm going to let that one go. We have a MAC. This was like a, a trend forecast. Yes, yeah, spring 15. It's like a lip and cheek tint, which is kind of why it's in this drawer. To be honest, I really never reach for products like this. I feel like this is something more of your pro you're going to reach for. So... Oh, be ruthless, Rachel. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to put this, oh, put it in the maybe pile for now, but hopefully I'll move that to the to giveaway pile. <laughs> this is a blush stick, beach stick from Lip to Cheek, Lip to Cheek Dewy Colourpop from Charlotte Dilbury. This is quite a intense, whoa, colour. You know what? I'm going to keep it and just see how I go. Honestly, Charlotte Tilbury is such beautiful products. Uh, and I just, I don't really necessarily want to get rid of them. This one is in Moon Beach, which is a little bit more of a wearable color. Although to be honest, it's too kind of light. I feel like to be a blush, but way too dark to be a highlight. Oh, maybe it's not too light to be a blush. And to play around with that one a little bit, that's technically should be in the maybe pile. Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. I picked this up in the States because these never really made it to Australia. They're kind of like a putty texture, which is come back in since even though this was really old uh, I think I'm going to put that in like a try pile see if I use it if I use it I'll keep it if I don't I think that one will go this Milani powder blush in romantic rose I do love this and use this quite a bit so I will keep that what have we got in here oh my gosh the Estee Lauder what was this called Tease Pure Color Blush. This was a limited edition thing that everybody went nuts for. I paid a lot of money for this for a single blush, but I do absolutely love it. So that will stay. A Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blush from Charlotte Tilbury. This again, it's like the nipple <laughs> blush, but it is a nice uh, blush. So I will keep that. This is really hard. There's really not much like need to get rid of stuff when it comes to blushes. Uh, this is the Brilliant Skin Rosy Glow Duo from Designer Brands, which looks like this. I think I'm going to put this in the giveaway pile. I'm just, I'm not going to reach for this. I have so many other products that are like this, even though I haven't really used this one. So that will go in the to giveaway. Oh, the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit. Really, this should go into the contour drawer, which I am going to do, but I obviously use this a lot. This is the one that Chloe Morello did the collaboration with and I I love it. So that's going to go up there. Oh, I've got a couple of blush palettes here from Zoeva. This is the Coral Spectrum and the Nude Spectrum, which this one really does borderline on more of like a bronzer kind of bronzy blushes. I actually don't mind these colors for like no makeup makeup looks. So I think I will hold on to both of these. They don't take up a lot of space. Got the Balm How About Them Apples palette, which I actually really liked this. Palettes are so hard because I don't reach for them a lot. It's funny with eyeshadows I will, but with cheek products, I tend to not reach for them quite as much. I think I'll put this in the maybe pile. It's starting to crack a little bit here, but I love these kind of colors. They're just so nice for autumn, winter. I've got a MAC blush palette here. I honestly, I don't think I ever reach for this, which is really, really sad. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do with these. I don't even know what each of the colors are because they're underneath and it's really hard to pop out and I never bothered to write stickers on the back. I think I will hold on to this for now, but I feel like I probably don't need to. Uh, we got a couple of palettes here that I pulled across. I talked about this in another video, the Cheekathon palette from a Benefit. I do like that one. I want to try and use that more. And this gorgeous cosmetics kind of contour and highlight and blush palette. So I will hold on to that for a little bit longer. I think that could be good for traveling if I did more traveling, which I currently don't. But one day, fingers crossed. I've got a Becca Beach tint. This is really old. So I think I'm just going to get rid of this one. Got a Me and My Ice Cream blush from Essence here. It's a cream blush. Again, this is kind of a little bit similar to that Maybelline one, but it is actually a really gorgeous color. And like I said, I'm really getting into cream blushes at the moment, so I think I might hold on to that one for a little bit longer. I've got a single MAC blush, casual 
cheek color oh this one is in weekend getaway mm, yeah see i don't know if i love the texture of that i think i'm going to put that into the giveaway pile i've got a bunch of mac blushes here which i sometimes reach for sometimes don't. i reach for warm soul quite a bit love that one so that one can stay this one is restores dazzled which is a cream blush it's just honestly way too dark so i'm going to get rid of that one Subtle Breeze, I think this is a limited edition one. The problem with limited edition blushes is, is that if I did want to use them in a makeup tutorial, it does make it hard because then I can't say go out and buy it. I think this was, I know this was in a collection, so I don't know. I will hold on to that box. I do like the like baked mineralized blushes. And then I have Dainty. Oh my goodness, this is so hard because they're so similar. But at the same time, this one's more peachy. And this one is more like plummy. Okay, for now I will hold on to both of those. And I also have Blush Baby, which is a really old one, but it's an interesting color. It's more of like a, I don't know, like a, a nude brownie shade. I don't know if I've got a lot like that, so I think I will hold on to that one as well for now. And then as for these uh, cheek stains from the balm, I think these were. These are really interesting, but I just don't reach for them. I think because they're almost too pigmented, which isn't a problem that a lot of products have, but for blush, it does actually exist. You can have a too pigmented blush. I think, you know what, I think I'm just gonna let these go. It kills me to do it. But I think I'm going to let those go. I really don't need 50,000 blushes. It's so hard. This is a Marc Jacobs Air Blush, was it called? Yeah, Air Blush. I really like this. I like how you can concentrate more to the lighter shade or more to the darker shade and kind of get multiple colors out of that one. So I definitely will keep that one. Got a bunch of different more drugstore blushes. I've got one from Sleek here, which I think I bought online. I think this is like a similar one to NARS Orgasm. What's it called? Rose gold, very pretty, but I don't reach for it. So I'm going to put that to the side. I think I actually do have Nars Orgasm. I've got this one from Jordana, which I know I really liked. It's called Rose Silk, but again, very similar to a lot of colors that I have. So I'm gonna let that one go. I've got these ones here from Ken Make, which were actually gifted to me by a subscriber, which was so lovely. And I do really like them. I just don't reach for them that much. You know what, I think I'm gonna have to put these to the side for now. I think I will hold on to them. I've got this one from Prestige Skin Loving Minerals, which is called Fresh Glow. Is it called Fresh Glow, is that the color? No, Terra Rosa, my bad. This is actually a really kind of nice mottled, I don't know, pinky, beigey, browny color. I don't reach for that a lot, but I want to, so I'm gonna hold on to that one. Savvy by DB, this is a similar shade in Blossom. I think this one's a bit more shiny. Yeah, this one's a bit more metallic. I think I'm gonna let that one go because I don't really go for the metallic cheeks that much. Oh gosh, we've got a bunch of old school NYX blushes here. I think they've like reformulated these. These are really old. I've got Peach, Pinched, and Angel. Beautiful blushes, but I think I'm gonna let these go. Got an Essence Beach Cruises one here. This one kind of is an ombre style. I think I've got something similar in one of my other blushes. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile, but I might let that one go. Oh, this is an Inglot blush in the shade, I think it's number 20, the number. This is really like, really nice pink color, even though it looks like all the other pinks. You know what, I'm gonna hold on to that for a while. I need to use that more. And then we've got some NARS blushes here. So I have New Attitude, which I know I picked up in the States. I have, oh, what's this one called? Sin, it's a very interesting color, I do like that. And then I've got a really, really old NARS Orgasm, which is actually broken. I think I'm gonna hold on to Sin and Orgasm. I think I might let go of New Attitude. It is a pretty color, but I just don't use it. So maybe I'll try and sell this one. Okay, that's that one done. I've got a couple of NARS blushes again. I think these are, yeah, the Jewel Intensity. So I've got um, what is this? Fervor, which I think was in like the initial release. It has like a nice sort of peachy color and then more of a plummy color. 
And then I have sexual content, which I think actually came out in a, uh, like a, co a collection of some sort. I don't really follow Nas collections. So here they are there. They are, I think, different enough that I can probably keep both of them. And they are like an interesting uh, sort of wet and dry use formula. So I think I will keep both of those. We have a Chanel cream blush here in Revelation. Beautiful. I do use this quite a bit, so I'm going to keep that one. I have this Josie Moran Coconut Watercolor Cheek Jelly. I wasn't sure about this one, so I actually used this the other day to test it. And it's in the shade Pink Escape. I do like it. I think I'm going to put it into the maybe pile for now, though. This is Stereo Rose, a more recent version of Stereo Rose. Not quite the same as the original, but I do really like that, so I will keep that. I have a Riri Loves Mac from the Rihanna collection. Little blush and bronzer duo here. Because this is limited edition, I do think I will keep that one. The only other Chanel blush that I have, which again, I think might have been from a specific collection. It's a really unique kind of pinky, brownie, mauve color. I don't know what this is called. Uh, Accent, number 84. I will keep that because that is beautiful. This is the blush I basically used for most of 2017 from when I got it. Oh, it's broken at the back. Oh no. This is a tart little mini in the shade party and I got it as like my birthday gift from Sephora in Australia. It's beautiful, a really easy wearable color and I just like how it's compact so I will keep that one. This was a Proenza Schooler like limited edition collaboration with MAC which has this sort of ombre pink. I think I'm gonna put this in the maybe shade pile, <laughs> maybe shade, maybe pile. I do like this, I just like, I don't know, I just don't reach for it. I don't know whether to keep it because it was limited edition or not. Couple of Clinique blushes. I do like these cheek pop blushes, so I think I'll hold on to them for a little bit longer. And then these Max Factor blushes, which came out and they reminded me a lot of the Hourglass blushes. They're the cream puff blushes. Yeah, I think for now I will hold on to them because they are pretty. I don't know, maybe I should let go of some. And this is a royal blush. Oh my goodness, I'm breaking things left, right and center from Rimmel. Another cream product, which is a semi-recent purchase. So I will keep that one there. Let's move that out of the way. I have my whole collection here of Milani blushes. I do really like these. Terra Sol. Delusio, Del, Delusio Pink, I think I say. This one's an interesting one, it's very bright. I think I might put this one into the maybe pile to see. All these are the different baked blushes, including, um, oh, that's Beria Moore, Rose Doro, the ever famous Luminoso. Uh, I don't know if I can ever get rid of that. I do actually quite like it. This one is Coralina, which is quite orangey. I really don't reach for that one much, nor do I reach for uh, this one but much, Fantastico Mauve. But I think I will hold on to them. However, I think I'll probably get rid of these Essence Silky Touch blushes because I just, I don't, I don't reach for them. So I'll keep my Milani ones as my more uh, drugstore alternative. And I do have some samples of Bella Bamba and Dandelion from benefit, which I think for now, although what do I have in this palette here? I think I have, I've got dandelion in this palette. I don't have Bella Bamba, so I think I'll let go of the dandelion sample. Uh, and I might hold on to Bella Bamba, although to be honest, I just don't reach for it. You know what? I'm just going to let both of them go. Be ruthless, Rachel, be ruthless. Okay. And then lastly at the back here, I have a Dior blush, which I honestly thought I was going to let go and then I have used it and I actually do like it. So I am going to hold on to that one. I have a blush here from Illamasqua, Tremble, which is a really pretty powder blush, but I've got so many like this. So I think I'm going to let that one go. Oh, I've got a Bobbi Brown apricot blush, which is kind of like a deep, pink but with a bit of a coral to it. I think I will hold on to that one for a little while longer. A Laura Mercier. Oh, this is like a little blush, barely pink. I haven't used this for so long, but I know it was a favorite for a while. So I will hold on to those two. Then I have uh, Havana, Rocketeur, 
and Sugar Bomb from Benefit. Now I'm pretty sure that Rockatua is in the palette. So if I am going to hold on to the palette, I think I will let go of the individual blush because it's just really no use me having both. So I'm going to let go of that one. I will keep the other two. And then I've got a bunch of Tarte blushes here. I think I picked these all up in the States. This was back when Tarte wasn't available at all in Australia. So I do have this cream one here, which I do like. Shimmering Peach, I will keep that one. I have this sort of deeper pink. What's this called? True Love. Oh, why can't I open this? Okay, that's like a pinky color. I've got so many like pinky blushes. This one here, Exposed, I do use quite a bit. It's great for no makeup, makeup day, so I will keep that one definitely. What's this one? Doll Face, which I know was popular, although it's just a very bright pink. I just don't reach for these a lot. And then I've also got Captivating. I think I'm gonna let go of Doll Face because it reminds me a bit of that Dior blush. Um, I think. Oh, they're different. I'll hold on to these two for now. And then we have the Essence Blush Up, which does remind me quite a bit of the Essence Beach Cruises. Um, now that I'm looking at it, another kind of ombre peachy pink. I think I'm more inclined to actually use the Beach Cruises one over this. This seems a little bit more intense and in your face kind of color. So I think I'll let go of that one. And then we have the Balm Frat Boy blush, which is actually a really pretty color. I just, I don't know if I ever reach for this. I think I'll let this one go. Somebody else will enjoy it more than me. And then I do have this MAC one. This was See Me, Hear Me from, uh, I can't even remember what collection this was called, but it's the one that has all like the little water droplets on it. This is a beautiful blush. It's an extra dimension finish and might be limited edition. So I'm definitely keeping that because I, I do reach for that one quite a bit. And that is all of the blush drawer empty. I've moved you around a bit so you can see more clearly, but this is how the drawer is looking now that I've put pretty much all the products back in. I have cream products at the front, some palettes here on the side, and then I've mainly sorted by brand or what fits where because uh, that's sort of what makes sense to me. I would ideally, I think it would be easier to organize by color, but I think that's just a little bit too sort of obsessive for me. I also still have these two palettes, which I think I'm gonna sit on top here and hopefully I'll reach for them more. And if not, uh, they will have to go as well, but happy that there's space to still put some more products in if I need to, or if I need to move some stuff from the contour and highlighting drawer into this one, there's room and I can still see everything that I need to see. Still too much blush, but it's better than it was. I've gotten rid of a decent amount as well, which I'm happy about that.